When Apple announced its brand new Vision Pro headset, it represented not just the birth of a new product, but a transformative leap forward that will quite possibly shape the entire fabric of XR technology. We're living through a historic moment that transcends ordinary product launches and it will leave a lasting mark on the VR industry. But what mark will it be? As I walk you through all the details and features of Apple Vision Pro, I will explore its capabilities and do a deep dive of its true true potential and limitations that lie within. So get that popcorn ready and get comfortable. Vision Pro is Apple's new technological marvel, an XR headset that aims to revolutionize the way we experience extended reality. Let's start with the most visually striking aspects of this headset. As you delve into fully immersive environments, the presence of others nearby is seamlessly integrated into your view. It also enables others to see your eyes projected on top of the headset if the Vision Pro users can see them, and these eyes go away if the user is in a fully immersive VR experience. Never before were you able to see a person's eyes when they were using a VR headset. But it's not like the headset is becoming transparent, nor are there actual cameras that project the person's real face in real time. In something way more advanced than that, the system uses a neural network to create your digital persona, something like a 3 the avatar, but a lot more realistic than what we've seen before. It was trained on thousands of people, and this persona mimics your facial expressions and eye movements in real time. That's why it's not your real eyes that are being projected, but your persona's eyes that were scanned earlier. Similarly, you can use the headset to communicate with others using video conferencing apps like Zoom, and they will see your persona and not your cartoony avatar, but your actual face. We are still yet to see how well this persona will replicate facial expressions and eye movements. While trained on a vast data set, there are still variations in how well this system captures individual nuances and how realistic this digital persona will actually look. Before we go on, um, you might have noticed that I am wearing something different today. This tee actually matches the jellyfish that I have swimming around right here in my tank in every video that I have on my Disco VR channel, and no, they are not real. This is my new favorite tea that I got from a company called Into the AM, who sponsored this video. I rarely, if ever, accept sponsorships from non-VR related products, but their brand really resonated with me, because when you think about it, the clothes that we wear pretty much turn us into walking billboards. And Into the AM are really committed to their mission to represent who you really are. Their prints are really unique and high quality, so not only do you find something exceptional, something that stands out and aligns with your identity, but you also get the clothes of high quality material with the prints that don't come off after the first couple of washes. You can check out their website, their style, all of them are unisex, and maybe it's something that will click with you, and you can even use the 10% discount if you use my link below in the description. I want to point out that I do not receive any commission for the sales of these t-shirts. This is just a nice discount that I wanted my viewers to have because I really like this product and I'm sure that you will too. And now let's go back to Vision Pro. Apple has always been known for its ecosystem approach and the Apple Vision Pro is no exception. This headset is designed to be in perfect sync with your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, creating a unified and cohesive user experience. Those who have managed to test Vision Pro already applaud the UX and UI design of this headset. It reportedly looks incredible and acts naturally and intuitively, which is what Apple is known for in general with their devices. And having that high quality user interface finally brought inside VR is a huge deal, because for now the best in VR UI is something that we saw in the Meta Quest devices, and even that was so much far from perfection. And it seems like Apple nailed it, and we might might see the brand new standard for it in V2. 
VR user interface. While we don't know everything about Vision Pro's technological specs, we know this. Its display, incorporating micro OLED panels, presents a staggering 23 million pixels across two panels, which is more than 4K per eye, resulting in exceptionally sharp visuals. This is similar to the text used in the OLED screens that you'll find on the likes of the iPhone 14 Pro, except a lot smaller, like the size of a post stamp, which is a big advantage. For now, the actual resolution, FOV, and way of the headset have not been revealed. And considering the release is set for 2024, Apple may refine these specs before its official launch, so it's quite possible they just want to keep it secret for now because they might be improving it. Some speculate that based on their personal experience, the resolution looked like it could be as high as 3400 by 3400 with around 35 to 40 ppd, which delves into the ballpark of Pimax headsets. But the difference is FOV or field of view. Those who tried said it's more compatible to Quest headsets, whose FOV was around 100 degrees and not the crazy ones that Pimax headsets have. But let me tell you about the part that I find most exciting about Apple Vision Pro. Unlike other standalone headsets that rely on Android platform, Apple has developed its own hardware architecture, giving them complete control over their XR experience. I cannot stress enough how big of a deal it is, because it means that Vision Pro won't be held back by the constraints of the Android ecosystem, which are the constraints that we have seen in virtually all other standalone headsets. Android-based headsets like Quest, for example, rely on the ARM-based CPU architecture. It means that they all have the same limitations because they all have the same design principles. But Apple produces their own hardware, including the new microprocessors based on Apple's unique CPU architecture. And that means that it's a completely different beast that will offer something that we certainly haven't seen in VR before. Under the hood, the Apple Vision Pro harnesses the power of two innovative chips, the R1 and M2. And M2 CPU is the same one as used in Mac computers, which further enhances the capability capabilities of the Apple Vision Pro. With both a CPU and GPU integrated in the same chip, the headset theoretically possesses the potential to deliver a range of tasks and applications previously exclusive to Mac computers. Can you imagine having a power of a Mac sitting right on your head? I cannot stress enough how big of a game changer for XR is Apple's complete control over both the hardware and the software development. By designing their own solutions, instead of relying on external frameworks, they can create seamless connectivity and unlock performance enhancements that were previously unimaginable. So it means this. Vision Pro is not just another VR headset. It's a revolutionary device that will redefine the XR industry. We might be stepping into a new era of XR technology, break free from the constraints of the Android system and allow for natural ever before seen innovation. Moving on, Vision Pro hand tracking and eye tracking are primary control tools, which marks a significant leap forward in XR technology. While these features have been explored in various headsets, none of them truly perfected their implementation. In any headsets that I try that supports hand tracking, I would still always prefer controllers for precision. But Apple is known for its commitment to innovation, taking risks, integrating these new technologies into Vision Pro is very interesting, but of course it also carries inherent risks. Achieving the precise and accurate hand tracking and eye tracking in a wide range of scenarios requires a robust algorithms and hardware capabilities. We'll have to wait and see whether Apple will be successful in delivering this seamless and reliable user experience with eye tracking and hand tracking. And let's talk a little bit more about Vision Pro's entertainment features. When you're watching photos or videos, the room around you will seamlessly dim, allowing you to focus entirely on the media at hand.
end, or you can completely transport yourself to a fully immersive 3D environment. And you can watch movies on a large virtual 4K screen. It also has a first of its kind 3D camera that enables you to capture 3D videos and photos in spatial quality. You can also play Apple Arcade games with game controller support, such as PS5 DualSense controller, but no actual immersive VR gaming experiences were shown. So it seems as though Apple Vision Pro focuses on its ability to use the screen rather than immersive VR, although they did show us a sneak peek of their collaboration with Disney to create some unique interactive experiences. There was no mentioning of VR games or VR controllers, even though I don't exclude that they might be added in the future. And there is also a new article featuring Rec Room working on Vision Pro, so that means that it's going to open the door for other VR experiences. That is certainly exciting. So what does this all mean? What's the actual value of this headset and who is it for? The Apple Vision Pro marks the advent of a new era in XR headsets, defining an entirely new category that seamlessly integrates with the Apple ecosystem. But while it's an impressive technological feat, it may face challenges in achieving mass market success, obviously because of its price tag. Although they call it the most advanced consumer device ever, the price of $34.99 positions this headset as a high-end, narrow niche of Offering. The Apple might introduce a more affordable variant, such as Apple Vision Lite, to cater to a wider range of consumers, but the $34.99 was described as a starting price, meaning that there more likely are going to be more expensive versions of this headset rather than cheaper ones, probably based on the storage, similar to iPhones. Interestingly, some people may be drawn to the Vision Pro not primarily for its VR capabilities, but rather for its integration with other Apple devices. The allure of using it alongside a Mac editing suite, for example, showcases the headset's potential as a lifestyle accessory. For me, for example, I don't really see a reason to buy it for gaming and I would love to use it for video editing. I just don't think I'm ready to spend $3,500 just to edit a video. Still, this emphasis on integration highlights Apple's commitment to providing a holistic user experience rather than just solely focusing on the VR gaming market. It is in no way a competitor to upcoming Quest 3. Apple Vision Pro focuses on productivity rather than gaming, making it more of a Quest Pro competitor. Looking ahead, it is quite possible that the Apple Vision Pro represents the beginning of a larger trend. As technology advances and prices inevitably decrease, VR headsets will become more mainstream. Apple's entrance into the XR headset market with the Vision Pro signals their intent to drive drive the industry forward and make VR more accessible to the general public, even though currently they make it less accessible due to the price. So the success of this vision will depend on Apple's ability to expand beyond their existing customer base and convincing other users outside of the Apple bubble to invest into their ecosystem. But right now, the whole world knows about Vision Pro. And while this might not be the headset for them, they will look at Quest. So this whole presentation was actually a huge benefit for Meta because people who cannot or don't want to afford Vision Pro will start looking for cheaper headsets and which one is the best of the cheapest gaming headsets? Quest 2, of course, and soon Quest 3. So this is actually a great year for Meta as well and a great year for them to announce their new headset. So it's clear that the Vision Pro target audience is more focused on productivity and lifestyle applications rather than VR gaming, which means that hype for Quest 3 goes on as we're still anticipating this brand new gaming VR device. Please share your thoughts about Apple Vision Pro in the comments. I'm very curious to see what you think.